Okay, good morning. We are going to talk a little dinky bit, and I, the, this is definitely not a all-encompassing uh, on the subject. I, I don't want to spend 30 minutes on this video. I think we could talk uh, ad nauseum on this subject. Um, this is the most important thing that you can do to choose the right realtor when you go to list your house is trust. How do you get there? How do you get from point A to point B in a very short, succinct time period? Okay. Number one, trust is built over time. Trust is not something that's that's a quick snippet. It's not something that I can bring to you and show you on a piece of paper specifically. Uh, so when a realtor walks in the door, if you don't know that realtor, the problem is, is they're going to show you numbers, statistics, stats, how good their company does, how much they've done. All of those things are good. But that doesn't specifically mean that that agent is going to have your best interest at heart. And this is the most important part of a, a successful listing transaction. You can, you can call big name people that have referral companies where they refer you to an agent that they've vetted uh, and those I'm not going to bang on those. I've been a part of those. If I threw out the names of the companies that I've been a part of, you would know who they were. Uh, and I'm not going to say those are bad ways. If you if you don't know, if you're moving to an area and you don't know an agent, I'm not saying that's a bad way to do it. Keep in mind, though, that doesn't negate your responsibility as the person that has the asset, the, the home that you want to sell and get the most for or the quickest sale or um, the easiest sale. I, I've been doing this since 2004 and it's not always about the money. It's not always about the money. In other words, it's not always about leaving. If, if a little bit of money gets quote left on the table, it's not a problem if we can get to Cincinnati by this date. Uh, so I don't have to get every dime out of it, but, you know, I, I got to be in Cincinnati by this date. So th this is the thing that's important to me. Uh, so keep in mind, your agent should understand you well enough to know what the most important thing is. And they should, you should trust them that they are going to help you get from point A to point B, keeping your best interest at heart. So keep in mind, uh, number one work on trust. If you get the trust aspect of your realtor down, in other words, if you can say, I can, I can trust this agent to have my best interest at heart, even if it's to their detriment, then you've picked the winning agent. Now, do other things matter like experience? Yeah, that does matter that they're full time. Yes, that matters for sure. You, you want an agent that works full time in the real estate industry to care for your needs. If you're trusting that individual with your one of your largest financial assets, that person should be full-time, in my opinion. Again, as someone who's been in the business since 2004, uh, I, was, I was never a part-time agent. I, I went full-time from the time I got in and on. Uh, I, I do believe that a realtor should be a full-time agent if they're going to be a listing agent. Now, your buyer's agents could be part-time without a problem. Uh, or if you have an agent that is a part-time agent that is partnered with a full-time agent, th th that's fine too. I, I don't have a huge problem with that. As long as you have a full-time individual monitoring what's going on, monitoring what's going on in the market, there's a lot of aspects here that you have to keep in mind that will affect your ability to get the most out of your home or the quickest sale. Uh, there's a lot of things that go into real estate that uh, kind of go on behind behind the scenes that most people um, don't see and don't know have happened. So again, uh, I, I want to take a few minutes and go over the numbers. Uh, so I don't want to belittle... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to belabor, not belittle, belabor the points. Uh, but number one, remember, trust is the most important key in picking a, a real estate professional to help you sell your house. 
if you do have questions, if there's if you if there's if you want a little bit more in depth, feel free to give me a call. Feel free to uh, text or um, you know just give me questions. You can throw it here in this uh, venue. You can uh, you, you can do there, there's lots of ways that you can uh, contact me. Uh, and feel free to do that and ask questions. I would love to help you. But let's go over these numbers real quick so that so that we know kind of know what the market's doing right now uh, in the local area. Um, we have 3,196 homes for sale in the local area. That's down by 17. Uh, houses above 600,000, we have 566. That's down by three. Uh, between 500 and 600,000, that is 186 houses. That is up by five. So five houses came on the market since yesterday. 400 to 499 or 500,000, uh, that's 407 houses. Uh, so that means we've lost one house uh, off the market. And so between 300 and 400,000 or 399,000 uh, is 895. That's down by four. 200 to 300,000 is 825 houses. That's down by seven. Uh, between 100 and, uh, and 200, 200 and 200,000, that's 284 houses. <laughs> yeah, 284 houses. That's down by two. And then under 99,000, uh, we lost one house. So we're down to 32 houses. And the inter current interest rates today are uh, on a 30 year fixed is 6.62. That's um, down by 0.09%. I'm sorry, that's up by 0.09%. And on a 15 year fixed, that's uh, 6.12. That's actually up 0.24%. Uh, uh, keep in mind, I did a blog post the other day about this. And I want you to, to keep in mind that uh, we were talking about the could the interest rates fall um, down to like in the 4% range. Uh, all these blog posts I read and this, all the financials that I follow, they're all lamenting this fact that the, the interest rates are actually going up because we had a, quote, good job market. The jobs market report came out. And what that did is it pushed up the interest rates. They didn't go down, which is what they kind of had anticipated. They anticipated it, them going down. They actually went up, uh, which was a fear of mine when I thought about it. Um, when, when I was making that blog post, I was talking about, you know, could the interest rates go down to 4%, uh, which would, it would, which would really spurn buyers to get off the fence and, and, and more properties to actually come on the, on the, um, market. Uh, again, there's a lot of distraction right now in the market. What, there's a hurricane currently coming at uh, Florida. There's a hurricane that just came up into the Carolinas. Uh, it went through Florida. Uh, so there's a lot of distraction happening right now. And so the housing market is reflecting that and the interest rates, all the, all the financial markets, all that, they're all reflecting this, this distraction. You've got Israel. There's a lot of ancillary things that affect the housing market. So keep in mind, when you're thinking about listing your house, buying a house, there's a lot of ancillary things that I personally watch that tell me what the real estate market is going to do or not going to do or could do or, you know, whether it's the presidential elections, there's just a lot of things that go on. So again, uh, I appreciate you guys watching this. If if there are, are questions that you have, please feel free to reach out. I would love to talk to you. I, we can text, we can email, uh, you, you can like and share this video with someone that maybe is thinking about listing their house and they were talking about, you know, how to choose a real estate agent. Again, I would be happy to talk talk with someone if you're interested in finding more information out of the best way to choose a realtor uh, from someone who's been in the business uh, for 20 years. So uh, would love to help out. Please feel free to reach out. I appreciate you. You guys have a great Tuesday. I appreciate every appreciate each one of you. Thank you.